way the next bit. Hi, you guys. This is Good Deeds, and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. I know you're having an awesome, a fabulous, a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, if you're joining us live or if you're actually doing the archives, uh, podcast. I cannot explain how joy and <laughs> laughter I have because guess what? No matter what's going on in your life, if you actually having what you think is a good day, what you think is not a good day, the thing about it is we all have to go through ups and downs. We have to go through things because, yes, it is. It's shaping your character. Yeah, I know. I know when I'm going through it. I don't like that, but we have to go through things. The trials and tribulations we go through, actually, it's not for us. It's actually for other people that they actually can move forward in this life that we call, you know, this life that we have that we call our journey of life. I just love it, love it, love it. Here at Good Peace, what we do is help you shine your light to the world. And what that light is, Dr. Sunday, that light is your goals, your dreams. The reason you were born, just remember, you're not a mistake. (laughs) But the destiny you have that has been already predestined on your life, I just love it. It just keeps me going. But let me get to the things we have to do real quicker because we have a powerhouse in here this evening, afternoon, or morning, depending on where you are. The question of the day was, of this show, uh, the Ask Dr. Renee. The question was, (laughs) it was a funny question, actually. Uh, People were asking a question about how do I uh, get the brand colors that I have for for my brand. The uh, Renee Sunday dot com. Um, I have the Renee Sunday Enterprises, the Sunday Foundation, uh, the Sunday Publishing Company, and oh, also I'm, I'm missing one, ain't I? Oh, what well, the Good Deeds, <laughs> the Good Deeds Radio, TV, and the magazine. Uh, the big umbrella that I do have is the Renee Sunday Enterprises, and a lot of things fall below that. Um, and I'll be transparent because y'all know I will. <laughs> uh, God did not tell me to say ministry. He told me to say enterprises. And you can see a lot of other people do that as well. Um, for example, Bishop T.D. Jakes says Bishop T.D. Jakes, you know, enterprises. Um, I think uh, uh, Juanita Bynum does it as well. And somebody else, uh, der, uh, oh, God, I can, it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, it'll come to me. Somebody else. Does that. But Oprah, with Oprah, with Oprah, she does have an enterprise. You know, it's not a Pacific, uh, the old network she does. So I actually, that would come in my spirit, and that's why we end up doing Renee Sunday Enterprises, okay? But in regards of the colors, you can tell that I'm bright, cheery, I have a lot of energy. So that's where my colors come from. Uh, and, of course, with the Renee Sunday Enterprises, have that purple, and you know that is royalty, because you are royalty, because you are predestined to do great. You just got to step out and do it, right? But the thing about it is uh, you have to be mindful. Colors does matter, okay? Think about, for example, with uh, breast cancer awareness. Breast cancer actually has the, the pink color. Pink is purity. Pink is a soft color. So what you want is to have the colors. Now, if you look at YouTube and all those people, what is red? Because they want to get your attention. But I actually do whole coaching on that. I don't want to do that today. But we're going to actually, uh, in regards to your media coaching, uh, business coaching, we dive deep into that because it actually needs to reflect you, your brand, before you can actually uh, start selling products and services. Isn't that amazing? But that was just a short, quick little spill on it. But we want to welcome uh, I just love meeting people that's from where I was born. Y'all know I'm from, as you can tell, I'm a Southern Bell. Uh, I'm born in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, we just had fun in the in the green room. I told her, as the Bible says, can any good come out of Nazareth? And so we know some good came out of Powell. Amen? <laughs> Powell, Alabama. Uh, West End, if you're familiar with that. And we want to welcome her. I mean, I just love having gospel artists. Y'all know I'm starting my my little career, if you want to call it that, and, and singing as well. God has opened up that gift. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm walking on water, amen. But anyway, we actually have none other than the highly acclaimed, I love it, Ooh, gospel artist, Miss Cheryl McCorder. <laughs> and I just love her because, you know, she, you know, you never know. I may need to hit a note with her, but not right now, okay? <laughs> Cheryl, are you there? I'm here. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for taking time out and being with us here today on Good Deeds. 
Yes, I am honored, delighted to be here. <laughs> well, let's get this started. Tell us a little bit more about yourself and the amazing things that's going on in your life. Yes, God is amazing. I am a um, gospel artist. Um, I reside in Birmingham, Alabama, and I put out my first album last year, June of 2016, entitled My Story, My Song, and we're still you know, promoting things and doing things from it, but I've also begun my sophomore project, and it's untitled at, at the moment, but we've begun work on it, and the first single from it, um, is, we're releasing it on Tuesday of next week, October 10th. Wow, so you're telling me that you're going to help. You got some new coming out. Oh, I just can't wait. We can't wait to actually be a part of that. Oh, my God, I'm just so yeah. happy for you. It's amazing. Well, let, let me ask a question because a lot of people that are blooming, if you will, or emerging gospel artists, they always want to actually, uh, they want advice. They actually want to know some things about I mean, we try our best to mentor people, coach people that they don't make, you know, any mistakes or any things that they really shouldn't be doing. Can you give us any clues or some things? I know they need to contact you and, and, and do a personal thing with you, okay? <laughs> but tell us a little right. bit about where you see gospel artists right now in regards of how they need to step out and, and, and do what God has called them to do. Well, that's definitely the first step, just being willing to step out. You know, um, I didn't start pursuing this professionally until 2009, but I've known it for years that, you know, this is something I wanted to do. And, um, you know, when I first started saying it, stating it, that's another thing. First thing, say it. You got to start speaking it because a lot of people are just afraid to say that they want something huge or big, you know, um, as a result of, being concerned about what others, how others will perceive them, you know. So you got to get past just speaking it. Yeah, I want to be a gospel artist, and I want a Grammy, and I want to lead the industry um, as a gospel artist. So you got to start speaking it. Just get used to saying it. And um, of course, you know, just l- praying and listening to God, and just letting Him lead and guide you. Well, that's amazing. I, I really uh, uh, <laughs> amazing about that. But let me, you know, even with me saying that uh, that I've been singing a little bit, <laughs> but but have you <laughs> noticed that uh, when you actually the experience that you have and when you actually in the studio, how, how do you feel when you actually there just really putting what you have God has birthed in you? You actually putting it and really. It's coming to fruition, or you actually having a manifestation of what he puts in, put inside of you. Wow, it is the most amazing feeling in the world to see something grow. You know, um, the way we do things, I pretty much write um, songs and I sing the chorus a cappella, and then it grows with verses and a bridge and all of that, and I present it to the producer, and um, they pull in musicians and they're composing the music. It's just amazing to watch the whole process and knowing that it, you know, it started as just, you know, God giving you these um, melodies and ideas and words, and when you just see it all come together, it is I mean, I just can't even, the word, the word is just amazing. <laughs> that sounds like another song, amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I love it. Now, let me ask you, you know, because you have been in so many arenas, so many platforms. Um, tell us a little bit about your experiences, because you've actually, I mean, we're talking you know, on BT, you've been on Impact TV and so many others. Tell us about your journey. Well, it's, it's, I've gotten the, gotten the opportunity to, to meet a lot of people, just amazing people. And they have, you know, they, they offer advice. Um, the, the gospel artists that I've met, they are just so warm and inviting. I can't say that I've met anybody who act like a diva or anything like that. I, none of those rumors. I just met some really great people. So all those folks, you know, on my web um, site and on my Facebook page and Twitter and all the social media that I've met and I've taken pictures with, I they they are willing to, um, you know, give you advice 
and one of the main things that they all say that's common that I think every one of them has said is just don't quit. Don't stop. Now, I know, ladies and gentlemen, y'all think I told her to say that. Because <laughs> one, one of my taglines that I say, uh, Sarah, is don't stop, get it, get it. Now, we know that's a song. Oh, okay. you know, y'all know that song, so don't be acting like y'all ain't in that song. We know that song. We know Prince song. We know Beyonce, too. But, it, but the key is what the word, it says, don't stop getting it. You got to get your purpose. So they actually is saying a powerful statement, and I just love what you said also, that they are willing to share. Because the thing about it is a lot of people, icons, I just be keep it real, they do not want to share so you won't have the experiences that they had. So I, I just, ooh, I'm just so Yeah, I, well, I've not, actually, I've not had that experience. Wow. If you had to pick, and I'm, a, I'm not going to keep you to one person, because <laughs> sometimes it's kind of hard. Uh, what people that you can say uh, that actually have, have really been somewhat of a role model or even someone that you've met or haven't met that actually really got your juices going to really, I mean, just say, do and say what God has been already predestined you to do in regards of your gospel music? Well, I must, um, my mother, my mother was a gospel singer. Um, she didn't pursue it um, the way I'm doing it. She didn't pursue it on a level. She, you know, did a lot of um, things locally. I'm originally from Montgomery, Alabama. And so she sang with a gospel um, group called Gospel Harmonettes of Montgomery. <laughs> and so I would have Ooh. to say that's where I got my start. And, you know, um, in addition to that, I went to a performing arts high school. And um, just, you know, had some successes at, at that level. And um, I got a, co- a scholarship in college um, for the choir. Just It's just been around me most of my life. But I must give credit to my mother as far as, um, you know, pouring into me and, you know, telling me to pursue it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I, I totally can. Woo! Well, that I, I love that because that's my role models as well. I mean, it, it's my parents. Cause, and, and let's keep it real. Yeah. They're from Alabama, so they went through all of the right. changes, all of the civil rights and all that, and they what? They they they, they didn't quit. <laughs> We're going back to the not quit. They didn't quit. They actually uh, continue right. on and what God not- called them to do. Right. Mm. That's enough to shout on right now. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> now, with the things that you have going on right now, I mean, you have already have been on some, you know, major platforms. I mean, uh, you know, been around. I mean, Pastor Charles Jenkins, all them people, Ernest Poole, all. Yeah. I, I, I mean, uh, ooh, love Brian K. I mean, we can keep going on and on. Ricky, Rich, Ricky <laughs> Diller. So many, and Bobby Jones, I mean, I just, it, it's so yeah. funny, I got a little story, I got to say this real quick about Bobby Jones, we was at, uh, I can't remember what <laughs> award show, and I was on the red carpet, and he had a red mm-hmm. jacket on, and lo and behold, I had my famous red dress that everybody see on, on, on my business card, and he said, I love okay. the dress, I said, well, I love the jacket, it was just so funny how it was, yeah, a, a lot of, of people don't so know he up. is healthy. Right, a lot of people don't know this because he appears kind of serious on television, but he is hilarious. He really is. We have a good time with him. I love wow, Dr. Bobby Jones. I love it. Wow. I mean, that's an icon, icon, icon. It's, it's so is. Uh, uh, amazing uh, of the things that he, he that he was really a push. In, in our lives uh, with the gospel. I mean, we used to look at that show back in the day before you went to church. You didn't even go to church. You looked at that show. Yes. Oh, I miss <laughs> it. I miss that show. I wow. miss it. I, I had the opportunity to be there for one of his retirement luncheons. Oh. Oh, I love it. I, I love it. Show. But you know, I'm yeah. glad you're still enjoying life, though, because the thing yes. about it, when so many people retire, you know, they 
you know, don't want to be active, but he still remains very active. So we we, we just give him his uh, accolades and, and, and really thank him for, for not quitting, <laughs> for sure, uh, mm-hmm. uh, with his call on his life. Yes. Yes, he's an amazing Wow. Player. Wow. Well, Sharon, let me ask you this. I know you have this big, big, big major, I mean, a major debut coming up next week. Yes. How are you feeling yes, about so How are you excited. feeling? I mean, is the excitement there? How are things going? It, it is there. I mean, it's so exciting. We've been listening to the song over and over, and I hope everybody receive it the way we have. It's, it's just an amazing song. But most importantly, it's called No More, and I hope that it inspires victims of domestic violence. That's who the song is dedicated to. Mm. Well, we really need that, yeah, in regards of domestic yeah. violence. You know, just the awareness. And, and, and provide the resources uh, that's so yes. amazing. Um, I actually had an opportunity, and I didn't realize this until I became, you know, volunteer. That's very important. Uh, and right. I found right. out that here in Atlanta, I don't, I don't know if Birmingham or Alabama have some similar, but we have a, a gas station called QT. I mean, just the letters Q and T. And actually, right. it's one of the emergency uh, gas stations, if anyone that, um, you know, if you're running from somebody, you feel like yourself, you're right. in danger. I mean, not just even domestic violence, just in general, if you feel that you're in somewhat of a danger, that that's a safety place. Um, so we want right. to put that out there if anyone wasn't aware of that. And it's so interesting, maybe a, a year ago, my car just did his thing on the interstate. <laughs> And so I had to tow my car, but if y'all are familiar with the, 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 the worker service, I'm saying it nicely, they can't okay. really take you home unless they really want to, amen? And then, so I had to call for a ride, and lo and behold, it was a QT. And the man kept coming outside because he didn't believe me that I said I was okay. And, I'm, and, I, oh, and I, I thought see. about it, and I'm so glad that he continued to check on me uh, and make sure. Right. And then eventually they told me, Sherry, to come inside. They didn't want me to stay outside until my ride came. Oh, and wow. actually, they kind of put their foot down a little bit, which I like, that they say, what's the number you calling to, for your ride? They wanted to talk to my sister right. to make sure it was legitimate. And I said, wow, I just okay. love that. Um, I and do and too. as the word says, we, are, you know, be our, we need to be our brothers and sisters keepers. That's right. Exactly right. <laughs> so I'm excited for you because uh, anything you. that we birth is like a baby. It's like you can go in and, and, yeah. and, you know, seriously, do you start having contractions yet, Cheryl? <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, figuratively, yes, definitely. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But let me ask you this: in regards of you were in with music, you know, being a gospel artist, uh, I mean, and, and ladies and gentlemen, highly acclaimed, highly acclaimed. Uh, <laughs> how do you, you keep your peace? How, you know, because touring in so many different places, how do you stay true to yourself? The, you know, that that's just important to have. Yes. Well, you know what? I've, I'm constantly reminding myself of why I started this journey. And, you know, it's, it's not about me. It's, it's all about God, you know, um, and my promise to him. So just staying focused, re- reading the word, and my family and friends and loved ones who are around me, of course, you know, they um, keep me grounded. I've just got some really good people around me, Um on a regular basis, so that helps a lot. Mm. You didn't say it there. I want to give an echo on that because uh, ooh, God sends the right people to support you, and and, and I yeah. love, Cheryl, having people that don't tolerate me. They celebrate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ooh, that's enough. We gonna, I'm gonna have to, I need some music on that one. But you know what? You can praise yeah. God without the music. <laughs> <laughs> Right, the, yeah, the music is in you. I need another degree. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So what's next on the horizon? 
horizon. I mean, after you release the single, are plans in the horizon to do a tour or something like that? Well, yes, and I, I just um, I'm working with Beats Entertainment, part of Law. Shout out! I hope that's okay to do. <laughs> but um, oh, yeah. yes, definitely putting a tour together um, for that, and no more. We'll do a lot of things hopefully this month, and I hope people don't just put domestic violence awareness and prevention down after the month of October. But um, I'll I'll continue with that. Actually, no more is the name of the song, but no more is also. Um, the name of a program that I that I I'm launching this month, and I hope to see it grow um, years to come. Wow. Well, Cher, are you yes. able at this time to tell us this brief brief uh, about the program? Is it online, in person, or? Well, there's a brief description on my website um, under ministry. Mm-hmm. And um, about it, but no, we've not put it on there all the way yet, but I, I'm hoping by Sunday we'll have even more information. But um, a percentage of the proceeds from the single, No More, that's releasing on Tuesday, um, will go to um, organiz- domestic violence awareness and prevention organizations. And I specifically want to make sure that the money is, is um, donated to safe houses because they do so mm-hmm. much. They do mm-hmm. so much. Mm-hmm. I, I just really admire their work. Um, you know, women and children, they walk in there with literally nothing, and they take care of them. And a lot mm-hmm. of them, you know, they do it with, with dignity and grace, and they don't make them feel so horrible, you know. You know, they're not reminding them. They're just there, and it, it's just mm-hmm. definitely ministry. And, you know, God is about serving one another, and they are definitely doing that. So I want to make sure that, you know, I want to contribute and uh, make sure that they have things that are needed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, I love it. Well, y'all don't forget about <laughs> Atlanta on y'all tour. <laughs> yes, love Atlanta. <laughs> love yes, Atlanta. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. What they call it, the hot ATL. I mean, really and truly, do not let Atlanta be off your radar because really a lot we of movies, do. It's lot way too close. film and production. Yes. Yeah. And, then, and Birmingham is only a jump now. When you think about it, that's really, right. two times you're already there. <laughs> that's right. That's exactly right. Love oh, Atlanta, yeah. though. I'm sure it'll be on there. But, yes, that's in the works right now, tour. I love it. Well, we support you here with, uh, you know, first of all, we support you in your calling. We support you Thank in the God. things that, that you have to come. And we just, we already speak a blessing over that. It will actually bless so many people and impact in the name so of Jesus. Many yes. That they actually can walk out their calling. But then we just pray yes. a hundredfold on you. <laughs> well, pray yeah, God. A hundredfold thanks. return on you because the thing about it is people don't realize what happened behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, you right. got to record this 700 times before you get to find <laughs> I'm being sarcastic right. with 700, you know. Right, and all the opinions in the room. And it, it gets, you're right, you were talking about birth and pains. Yeah, figuratively, we, we go, you go through it. <laughs> and you want to be open and considerate, you know, but you got this vision or, you know, in your in your heart and in your head, and you're just trying to get them to understand it all and, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It's a lot of work, but it's fun. And um, I don't think any producer I've worked with, which is this is only my third, but um, I don't think any of them can say I, I don't get tired in the studio. I mean, I literally don't get tired. Wow. I can go as long as they're you know willing what? to and, go. And, and, so. and I want to say this, ladies and gentlemen. Did you hear what she said? She doesn't get tired. When you and your person, don't. when you and your calling, you just get mm-hmm. energy. People say, oh, I love your energy. But, you know, I'm in my yeah. zone. I'm in my purpose. And that's just that's not right. for me and Cheryl. That's for you as well. Right. When you tap yeah. into what God has already, now that's the thing, predestined you to it. Uh, uh, right. it you know, not not saying you ain't going to have trials. It ain't saying that you're not going to have to work, okay? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Fun work. I mean, it doesn't feel like work at all, to be honest. And uh, yeah, I do. I That's do feel right. like I'm 
I do feel like God is with me and I'm doing the things that he definitely wants me to do because I made a promise. I know I've alluded to that, but I made God a promise. You know, I think all of us get to a point where we have those come to Jesus meetings, you know, (laughs) where God, if you get me out of this, I'll do this. Well, I did do that. And um, I've, I've been trying to make good of what I promised God. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord, she's going to make me cut the rug here the minute. Oh, Lord, cut please. the rug. But, but she, <laughs> you know, cut the rug, Dr. You, know, you just, <laughs> if, if you think of just the goodness of him, you'll get to running in. Oh, my. But Sharon, do us yes. a favor. Um, yes. I mean, we just have been so delighted and overjoyed that you took the time out of being here with us. Uh, please, if you have anything else, because you shared a lot. Uh, anything else <laughs> on your heart that you want to share. And then please, please tell us how we can support you in the things that you're doing. And then, of course, how we can support you as well on social media. Okay. Um, well, I just want to share just a reminder that October 10th, Tuesday, October 10th, the song No More is releasing. And um, please download it, dollar twenty nine, and um, a percentage of the proceeds from that will go towards um, domestic violence awareness prevention and organizations and specifically safe houses. And um, please support that cause. And um, I hope you love the song. I hope it blesses um, someone who's actually going through it. The song is written in present tense, um, but, you know, it's it's about – it's about my past, a moment in my past that I had some 10 years ago. But um, I hope that women who are going through that, and I, let me correct myself, not just women, men, because I've been reading stats, statistics about domestic violence. But um, people who are going through that, you know, I hope the song encourages them. Um, let them know that, you know, God loves you just way too much and that domestic violence is in stark opposition to God's plan for us. That's so powerful. <laughs> you, and I I add to that, yes, we have to um and and, and we gotta do it. We gotta support her. You tell your friends, family, all them people in your country yes. when she still when she put that information on social <laughs> media Oh, how are we going to do it? We need to do it. I mean, sort of like what we did when we became best-selling authors in four hours. We need to do it. Right. They, the door, they tell us to do it. We need The <laughs> machine going to say, God, what's going on? I, we yeah. can't download it quick enough. Right. <laughs> Please do that. Wow. But also <laughs> tell us, Cheryl, of, uh, tell us about your website and your social media, um, uh, your oh, yeah. social media links as well. Yes, my website is CherylMcCorder.com. I know that's a mouthful, but it's Cheryl with a C H E R Y L. Matt Quarter is M C W H O R T E R dot com, and I'm also on it's Cheryl McCorder at Facebook and Twitter and um, Instagram, but all of the social media um, outlets. Cheryl McCorder. I guess my name is that odd enough. McCorder is, is um, rare enough that I was able to <laughs> use my entire name for all of those. <laughs> I love it. That's hey, that's a she gave y'all a tip there with Brandon. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> be consistent. Now I had to change up on Instagram because uh, it is a Renee Sunday, and uh, well, two in the United States actually. So I had to oh, say wow. Dr. Renee Sunday on that. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. See. But, right. Oh, I just love it. I just love it. But first of all, like I said before, we thank you for being in your purpose, and we thank you for being a guest here right, on God. Good Deeds. If you need us for anything, please, please don't hesitate to contact us. I won't, and thank you. <laughs> you welcome. You welcome. Oh, Lord, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I know you're ready for this replay. It's going to be ready very shortly. She she gonna make me sing a song when I get off air, not right now. <laughs> Y'all gotta wait on me. I got to be groomed a little bit more, amen. But you know God is good. He's always good, and He's always with you. Okay. I want to let you know if you want any information about advertising, um, sponsorship. Um, if you want to start your own radio show, your own TV show, I do media coaching. I do purpose coaching because you got to know what your co- what your purpose is. 
and I'm known as the platform builder. So when we identify the purpose, we, we help you build that platform. And the key is to be seen, be heard, and get paid. Now, yeah, the Bible, it said, what it said, put it on display, okay? The thing about it is God do want us to have, have prosperity in the area of our life. Amen? <laughs> okay, you know I go there. But the thing to remember is also we have a Good Deeds magazine if you want to advertise there. We do have a publishing company. Get that greatness out. Get it out of you. Because the thing is people want to realize that they you have a testimony. And they want to realize that they're not alone, and we actually have to get that out. And we do have people to help you write the book if you're having some, you know, you just don't want to do it. We have people for that. And also we have Sunday Foundation. And basically what that is is we help people just walk out their purpose. So that may mean you need some food. That may mean you need a scholarship. That may mean you need help when your loved one's in the hospital. But get in contact with us. Our information is www.renee, which is R-E-N-E, Sunday, S-U-N-D-A-Y, dot com. And all our social media is there. I just love you guys, but guess what? God loves you best. But always remember, you do have a calling. You do have a reason. One, you were born. You're not a mistake. You have to do the three things I always say. You got to believe, you got to trust, and you got to walk it out. Now, here the tagline comes. You got to don't stop. You got to get it, get it, right? <laughs> but one more thing I forgot to say. We are starting our women's fellowship back up. They'll be every month if you're local here in Atlanta. Uh, usually they're in a private location, but it's expanding so quick. We may have to actually uh, find another place, okay? <laughs> I love it, I love it. But the thing is, I love you guys, but God loves you best. And this is Good Deeds, and I'm Dr. Renee Sunday. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.